everyone. Welcome back. I just wanted to do a quick little follow-up to the octopus build. Uh, someone commented that they didn't actually see transistors turn on when I was poking around at that old oscilloscope board that I, I was using. So I decided to just do a quick little follow-up and we'll take a look at a different board, poke around at a few things just to show that uh, it does in fact turn on. We've got the Octopus here set to the one volt, one milliamp range. And we're just gonna go through and we're gonna buzz a few components here in circuit. So there's a few diodes over here we're gonna take a look at. And I'm using my Zoe ZT703S little scope meter for this because it's nice and small. So this, this diode, this looks like a Zener. This one above it also. That whole little string of them seems to be Zener diodes. If I look around, here's a couple diodes over here. These look like regular diodes. I go in and take a look at, let's try looking at one of these capacitors. Yeah, that's, that's in line over here with the diode. There's a diode hiding here behind it. So that's gonna, yeah. So we're seeing both of those together. There are some transistors around here. I can take a look here. There's one here I can grab. That has a capacitor here in line with it, so that's going to affect that. But that shows that junction definitely turning on. Shows that junction turning on. I'm going to flip this board over just so it's easier to get to some of the transistor pins here. If I look over here, I think there's one here. Oh, I pulled that transistor out. Uh, let's see, here's a couple over here. And that turns on. That's the capacitor that's in line with it. Those two junctions definitely, those are turning on. Let's take a look here. So, yep, can definitely, definitely check a transistor with it. There's another one here in the corner. Take a quick look at this one. Now, what's interesting is if we look here, you can see that tail disappear as the capacitor charges that's across it. But it does work for transistors. This is a tantalum cap. There's a couple other caps here. Those are probably too small value. You can go across some resistors. So it does work for in-circuit. I just picked a board with really tiny, tiny components and big probe tips last time. But that's it. Quick video. Works for in-circuit stuff, and like I said, we were testing with the one volt, one milliamp range, so that should be safe for doing that. All right, as usual, questions, comments, put them below. Like and subscribe if you're so inclined. And I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.